We all know about COP27. That's the 27th UN conference on the environment. This year held in Egypt. Over 400 private planes went in there with their, uh, with their poobahs to talk about it. Over 40,000 bureaucrats and officials attending this conference. And one of the themes coming out of this is reparations. They are saying that the rich countries should give the poor countries all kinds of money because the rich countries created climate warming and therefore the poor countries are suffering. Let's take Pakistan, for example. It wants a lot of money from all the rich countries. Well, in 1947, Pakistan was 38% covered with forests. That prevents flooding. It prevents warming. Now it's 5%. Well, Britain didn't do that. No one else did that. Pakistan did that. In the flood in 1950, in Pakistan, over twice as many people were drowned as the most recent floods, and the population was a lot less. So they've always had a flooding problem, and they've had choices. And one of the choices is when they get over $300 million every year in aid from Britain, they spend that on making nuclear bombs. I could go through all the other countries of the world who are, say, demanding money, reparations. You rich people, you got rich on our backs, and we are suffering for it. Absolutely baloney. There could be a few island communities that are going to need some help with flooding, but generally the world is not to be held hostage for that. However, the environmentalists and the UN and the others want that to happen. It's something that we should be careful of because it's something that is a theme throughout public discourse in the world these days. You guys are successful and therefore you pay up. Even China used that until a few, just a few years ago, and now they are mining coal, burning coal, like it's going out of style. Russia used to use that. You guys are all rich. Pay up to us. Well, there should be foreign aid. I think everybody understands that countries with a lot should help out those who do not have a lot. The thing is, Canada no longer is a country with a lot. People out there watching this, who are having trouble paying for their groceries, who are having trouble paying for gas to get to work, know that with the prices going up because of the Trudeau taxes, Canada is no longer going to be a rich country. We should be. We should be one of the richest countries in the world. But, and we should also be helping the rest of the world. But we can't afford to do that because of the taxes of the Trudeau government. So, when you hear the debate about reparations and you hear people whining about it, look at the facts first and look at the reasons why the country that could be in trouble is not really in trouble as a result of anything that Europe or Canada did. When someone comes up to me in the Buckhorn hardware and says, you're Stephen LeDrew, and I go, yeah. He says, I watch you every day because I want to learn what's going wrong in this country. We're doing something right because other people are not reporting things. If you agree, please subscribe and PayPal and enjoy.